Now, Spain is the world's biggest producer of olive oil, providing around 70% of the oil consumed across the EU, nearly half of uh, that consumed globally. But over the last year or so, its price has spiralled, having a major impact on both those who produce the olive oil and, of course, those of us who consume it. Guy Hedgeco has more from southern Spain. Carmen Andrade doesn't cook as much with olive oil as she used to. That's because it's become so expensive. The price of olive oil for Spanish consumers has risen by more than 70% so far this year, and in many shops its price has more than doubled. Before, a bottle cost around 3 or 4 euros, but now it costs as much as 8 or even 10 euros. I have to go from supermarket to supermarket looking for the best offer. The rise in the price is closely linked to the quantity of olive oil being produced. In the southern province of Jaén, the heartland of Spanish olive oil production, the annual harvest is underway. But the mood among farmers is downbeat. Although the harvest has only just begun, says this farmer, this year is turning out to be bad, and I'm afraid it could be even worse than last year, which was poor. A lack of rain is the main cause of this low output. For the Nuestra Señora del Pilar cooperative, which has the largest olive oil extraction factory in the world, it's a big worry especially as climate change lengthens the dry summer season. In order to grow the crop, we need water, and we haven't had enough rain in the last year. So, because there's less product, the price goes up. The rise in the price of oil has hit countries across Europe, including the UK. But it's been sharper in Spain, in great part because demand is so high here pushing prices up further when there's a shortage. Olive oil is a staple of the famous Mediterranean diet because of its much vaunted nutritional properties. But in recent months, consumption of it has dropped dramatically because it has become so expensive. Experts warn that that's not just bad for the olive oil industry, it's also bad for people's health. The rise in the price of olive oil obviously means that people are consuming other, cheaper types of oil instead. But that's a mistake, because the quantity of oil that we recommend people consume is so small. With many areas of Spain experiencing a long drought, both the supply and price of olive oil appear to be at the mercy of the weather. Guy Hedgeco, BBC News, southern Spain.